Well, well, well. So Pirate Cynical officially dropped a response. So I just wasted two sleepless nights and 30 hours of consecutive editing. From my eye bags are drooping down more than Scholar Box's titty. So I decided to private my video on Pyro. Although my video never really accused him of grooming or anything of that nature, I think it's the most appropriate. Yes, did I spend a lot of time on it, but at the end of the day, a highly edited video doesn't equate to the truth. In my video that I spent a lot of time on, <laughs> Bro, about to cry. But at the end of the day, no matter how good the video is, whether it's regarding the editing or anything else, you know, and that shit can look like an investigation discovery documentary, it spreaded false information, which I feel incredibly irresponsible for. Was it doing great in views? Yes. Was it highly edited? Yeah. Was it spreading false information? Yes. Am I gay? <gasps> The fact of the matter is, only the last one- well, I mean, that, the last one was the gay thing. The third thing is the only thing that matters. My last Pyro video was definitely one-sided. It wasn't strongly one-sided, but it still was. At the end, I tried to paint Pyro Cynical in a negative light, and really didn't remain neutral, because I tried to debunk counter-arguments from the other side claiming that he's innocent. And in hindsight, that is completely my fault. I, I- I'm a fucking idiot. I'll just admit it right there. Oh wait, hold on, hold on, guys. I gotta- I gotta get the box of tissues. I gotta sit on my living room floor. <sighs> uh -oh. I really didn't want to make this video. It's gonna be hard. It's gonna be difficult talking about this. I'm gonna try to hold back the tears. Yeah, I fucked up. But if you want a short summary because of Pyrocynical's response, is Pyrocynical a groomer? No. Did Pyrocynical know Ivory's age? No. Till he's 16, he did. Which is legal in both the UK and the state that Ivory lives in, which is Pennsylvania. Is Pyrocynical's girlfriend a dumbass? Yeah. So I came on here to apologize and also share an idea that I'm gonna do. I was thinking about revamping my Pyrocynical video, but proving how he was innocent in the end, or rather how he could be guilty. Because I never accused him of being anything, and I never said he was guilty at the end. I left it off to speculation and for you guys to decide. But now, as this video came out, it seems like Pyro Cynical is not. So, I thought in hindsight, I would make a similar video with the right opinion to with Slazo, talk about the allegations, speak on the initial claims that the commentary community made, including Turkey Tom, Prison Mate Luke, and a few others, then eventually debunk those claims with Pyro Cynical's response, and prove that yes, the messages are real. Pyro Cynical did know Ivory's age after the Twitter bio incident, but he didn't know Ivory's age before he was 16, and then finally disclosing the backlash that us, the commentary community got, and also Pyro Cynical when he was being put under pressure, because people on the internet jumped the gun all the time, and this is just a sole example. New video soon, like an update to the previous one. My apologies again, me and the entire commentary community are in the wrong. Take of that what you will. I didn't really make up the evidence. In fact, if I'm gonna be completely honest with you, I just ripped off Chicken Charlie's video, and which is a mistake that I regret. If only I waited one more day for him to come out with this response before I posted it. It's my full job and responsibility to not misinform you guys, and that I did with the pyro video. And I'll catch you guys in the update. Alright, see ya.